Hello, my name is Sipoga Zimsengana and I'll be talking to you a bit about natural alternatives to controlling the diamondback moth, which is a cabbage pest. So subsistence farming makes up a large portion of the rural Eastern Cape. And cabbage is one of the most widely grown vegetables there, except that its yields are vulnerable to insect attacks by the diamondback moth which feeds on cabbage, but also on its relatives, such as cauliflower, kale, broccoli, and many more. And in order to control this insect, farmers opt to use synthetic chemical insecticides. But the trouble with those is that over time, they start to lose their effectiveness in controlling the insect because the insect develops resistance over time. And in addition to that, they tend to be pricey for rural farmers, not to mention some of the environmental damage and the health hazards that synthetic insecticides cause. So perhaps a more sustainable option to consider would be insecticides that are derived from plants which we term botanical insecticides. And they can range from essential oils to plant extracts or even dried plant parts that are crushed to a powder and then dispersed on the cabbage to control the insect. Perhaps these could be used as part of a broader pest management strategy that the farmer would employ. So for our study, we're focusing on two plants. The first one is Targetis minuta, which is a weed. And the second one is Lipia javanica, which is an indigenous shrub to South Africa. Now these have been shown in the past, in the past to possess properties that either repel insects or kill some microorganisms. And we're looking at the chemical compounds that are responsible for these properties. Now, these plants would be accessible to farmers because they're quite common and they're not endangered species. However, they would have to be managed um, properly in order to ensure that they don't end up being endangered species. So this would be beneficial for farmers in that one, they would be able to control the pest, two, that it would be cost effective for them, number three, that it would um, alleviate some of the pressure on in the environment as well as reduce the risk um, on human health.